This is edition one of FAD Weekly. If you like what you see, then please subscribe, like us, and spread the word and the link. To the very heart of Asia and our own fashionista, Li Ling Chin. Welcome to FAD. We begin our mission to bring you the best in global fashion, art, and design here in dynamic Hong Kong. And our lead story is the astoundingly successful Hong Kong Art Fair. In just five years, this event has established Hong Kong as an epicenter for the high-end contemporary art market. And the general public also attend in droves. The man in charge of this epic congregation of creativity and commerce is Magnus Renfrew. Art HK is the leading showcase for international galleries in Asia. It's an opportunity for galleries from the West to meet collectors from the region, but also for collectors from the rest of the world to really see the very best of the work that's being produced in Asia today. Uh, we, for the first time this year, we have a curator for Art HK projects. Yuko Hasegawa, who is the chief curator of the Museum of Contemporary Art in Tokyo, has helped us to select from over 90 applications from galleries, large-scale installations that are dotted around the fair. This work done by Yayoi Kusama, and uh, she's a uh, very famous, well-known Japanese woman artist. And uh, uh, recently, uh, she made a big exhibition on Tate Modern and the Pompidou. One of the things that we prided ourselves on right from the outset is the geographical diversity of the offering that we have here. We have galleries this year from 38 countries, uh, and so it really sh is a great opportunity for people to see the huge variety of work that uh, is being produced today. Well, the buzz this week in Hong Kong is absolutely at fever pitch. We've had uh, dinners, parties, uh, parties galore, uh, and so often a lot of the business is done uh, out of the hours of the fair in a social context. Uh, we got off to a great start this week with uh, around seven gallery openings of new galleries that have opened in Hong Kong. Gargosian is a byword for the top end of the international art market. And at their recently opened Hong Kong gallery, Louise Neri introduces us to the extraordinary work of Andreas Gursky. Basically, Andreas, I think more than anyone, has sort of chronicled the images and effects of advanced global capitalism across the world and from recreational subjects, images of consumption, scientific exploration, I mean, you name it. He's, he's provided contemporary life with a series of very imaginative interpretations of reality. Who have two adjacent billboards on Cotton Tree Hill Road, which is one of Bangkok One, which is also Andreas's, one of his favorite images, this sort of extraordinary um, kind of zip um, picture from the Bangkok series that has this sort of silver flash and this dark polluted water, juxtaposed with 99 cent, which is kind of the root of the problem, let's say. Frenchman Edouard Melin comes from a family tradition of gallerists. His gallery is located in bustling central, but is an oasis of contemporary cool. Uh, Laurent Grasso is a French conceptual artist who won the Duchamp Prize in 2008, um, given by the Centre Pompidou. He works in various mediums, video, uh, paintings, neons and large installations. Sang Hyun Suk, she's a Korean artist based in Hamburg. She moved to Germany when she was in her 20s and she did some filming before and then went to painting. She focuses on the brushstroke in a very Asian way. Each brushstroke is a piece of meditation in itself. The attendance of the artists themselves at the event adds a layer of personal intimacy. You're looking for the, the shadow shapes and under the nose and stuff like that. It's exciting, you know? It's, it, I, I'm really enjoying it. I think there's a lot of great art to be seen here. As you'd expect, the big end of town is involved in Art Hong Kong with a creative presence. Uh, we're a sponsor of uh, the art fair. The brief was to come up with something which was recycled. Uh, the lounge is made up of 20,000 copies of old in-flight magazines, which have all been rolled up by hand. 
We have a, a, uh, an exhibition space, an event space really, uh, in uh, Island East, which is called Artistry. And the great thing is, because it's in an old industrial building that we've basically refurbished, is that we can actually bring very heavy uh, installations uh, to the site, cars, boats even, to the site. So the piece that for me was uh, most exciting was uh, Doug Foster's Heretics Gate. And it looks absolutely sensational. It's somewhat, something where you really feel like you're looking into a, another dimension. The presence of galleries like London's White Cube, with their hearsts, emmins and achingly edgy installations, are crowd pleasers. Um, you see fantastic collectors coming through and uh, every year the conversations get stronger and the nice thing is that every year we meet new people so it's a, it's a great fair and it's a fun fair to come back to. This year is the last edition of Art HK. Next year we'll see the launch of Art Basel uh, and it will really help to take this, this fair from being one that's of regional importance to being one of global importance. Later, as part of our FAD destinations, Hong Kong will provide you with some of the keys to unlocking the city. Where to stay, where to shop, and an architectural gem. Nice work, Li Lin. Love those green shoes. Next week, we're off to Manchester, and it's all architectural action as we have an exclusive tour of the penthouse apartment of Ian Simpson. Space and views that will change your perspective of Manchester and featuring his own private olive grove in the sky. Join us at FAD Weekly.